In this episode, we talk about the hang around process for 1% clubs, outlaw motorcycle clubs, or any motorcycle club. But real quick, let me show you a little modification that I did to my soft tail slim. We got some new fog lights on it. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Sos the Ghost TV. And today we're gonna talk about the hang around process for outlaw motorcycle clubs, motorcycle clubs. It is the most important part of this MC culture of ours. This is the time where you look around, you pay attention to everything that's going on, where you keep your eyes open, you don't talk a lot, and you watch what's going on and see how this club maneuvers and figure out, is this the club for me? This is the most important part. If you do this hang around process right, you'll be in this club forever. But if you don't, a couple years, you'll be out the club. If an outlaw motorcycle club comes to you and they say, yo, come hang around. When you come through, there's a saying called suited and booted. And that's having your jeans on, your boots, your cut, plain cut if you hang around and just like no flash, just ready to be out there on the road or at an event. Now, if you were asked to hang around with this outlaw motorcycle club, so obviously you have relationships or family members or whatever, and they tell you to hang around. On a certain level, depending on what club it is, if they have a stronghold in that area for years, they're kind of prospecting for you. They're kind of letting you see the good side. The hang around process is all the good things about the club. They're showing you what the club's about so you can figure out if you want to prospect for them. Now, if it's a story club, obviously they have clout and you want to be in there, you already know that. So you're kind of showing them that you're built to prospect. So the most important thing to me, I say you should do is be yourself. If it rubs people the wrong way, you know that club is not for you. If they rub you the wrong way, you know the club is not for you. Don't put yourself in a position where you feel like now you have to prospect because you feel like there's loyalty like you're supposed to. No, the hang around process is you hanging around and figuring out if this club is for you and vice versa. Now I've seen hangarounds that act like they're already a prospect. I've seen hangarounds that act like they're already a brother. Always know your place, regardless who you're related to, how cool you are with people in the club. You are a hangaround, you are not a brother, you are not a member of the club. This happens a lot. As a sergeant of arms, I have seen hangarounds complain to the higher ups about a fully patched member. You're not understanding the game if you're doing that. I remember a time where there was a hangaround and uh, he went to the president and told him that he didn't like the way the prospect manager was handling him. Like he felt like he was talking to him disrespectfully. So the prospect manager tells him, this is not true. You said it like this, this and that. And he tried to rebut. And I was like, listen, are you calling my brother a liar? And he's like, no, I'm just saying that. Listen, are you calling my brother a liar? Simple and plain. But some clubs, they listen to a hang around, listen to a prospect. That stuff, like even if you're a hang around and they're defending you over a fully patched brother, you got a problem. That club has issues. That club doesn't understand structure. Now, when you're hanging around, also understand the bike requirements. If you're going to an outlaw club, do you have an American made bike? Are you prepared for that process? If your bike is not American, you have to think about switching over because that's what's gonna take for you to become a member of the club. And some clubs allow it where you could come in as a prospect, but then you have to get American before you get fully patched. And then some will let you hang around and you can't prospect until you get the American made bike. So it's different everywhere you go. Every club is different. Regular motorcycles might not care about what bike you ride, you know, but I'm talking about more from an outlaw perspective. But even in the 99, I believe you should hang around. You should still figure out if this team works for you. I'm telling you, it could be the smallest thing. What kind of food do they like? What are they listening to? What music do they listen to? Do you vibe with the same stuff? Is everybody going to this place because they like this kind of vibe and you're more of this type of guy? I've seen people in clubs where they just don't fit in with that club and some people are like chameleons like that and they last for a long period of time or they just they deal with it, they're just different, I get that. But your vibe attracts your tribe, so you should be running with people that fit the type of person that you are. Now, one thing I could tell you that is a dead giveaway 
if a club is thirsty for you to prospect, that club got issues. That club wants more people to pay dues. That club got some politics to it. That club is thirsty to grow. And that's a dead giveaway that that club might not be for you. And you might be the best brother and they might be the coolest dudes. But if they're so thirsty for new members, there's something about the way they think that's off and it's not gonna work out. Also a major thing that I have seen people leave clubs for. Sometimes people don't understand certain clubs are so political and so hang out at the bar type club and don't ride as much that there's people that leave clubs because they expect it to be like, we're in a club, we go out, we ride, we here, we're there. And sometimes you're sitting there, there's a lot of politics going on. Is that the type of club for you? Some clubs are annual clubs. So constantly you're like, this is going on in Delaware, this is going on in Texas. And if you're more the type of person that wants to ride around where you live and have a good time where you're from because you have whatever responsibilities, you have to understand that. And in the hang around process, if you wait it out and do it the right way, you'll start understanding what kind of club this is. And remember, annuals only come up once a year. So if there's a couple of annuals a year, you need to hang around long enough to see if this club, how they function. What a lot of hangarounds will do, will hang out and they'll be around tough for weeks in a row, maybe a month pass, and they're really feeling the vibe, and then they go prospect right away. Then boom, two months later, annual comes up. Three months later, another annual. They're working, they can't go there. Brothers are like, yo, he's not dedicated. You're like, damn, I, I, I gotta work. I gotta feed my family. What am I gonna do? You know what I mean? So you put yourself in that situation because you didn't hang around long enough. Now, one thing that I'll tell you is a dead giveaway for a shit show club. If they would ever talk down on a brother in front of you, get away from that club because they have no order. A hang around should be told to wait outside. They should not be privy to inside club information. If they're able to let that information out to you, then if you're in that club years down the line, there's information about you that'll be let out to whoever. You don't know who the next hang around is. Is he law enforcement? Who is he? You know what I'm saying? Do you want him knowing your business? They're already showing you the red flag. Another thing that I have seen too, if one brother talks bad about another brother, never get involved. Cause sometimes they'll come to you telling you as a hang around, oh, I don't like that he does this, this and that. Remember, they're brothers. Are they testing you? Do they wanna see if you're snaky? Or maybe they're snaky and whatever they're saying, they're legitimately telling you. And then when you tell somebody else, oh, but you know, he told the hang around that this, this and this happened and the heat is on you. Stay out of that. Somebody talks bad about another brother. Listen, I don't know. I'm here to hang around. That's not my business. Tell them straight up. That's not my business. And don't look at it as disrespect. That is actually respect. They'll respect you more like, yo, he's stand up. And if you're doing it for a nomad charter, understand that you might get the call and you gotta go somewhere far. So a lot of people do get into nomad charters because maybe you live in an area where there's a lot of nomads at and you might think that you don't have those requirements, but when something happens, they will tell you to go somewhere super far. It is not fun. I've been a nomad. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, if you're not prepared to pick up and go, if you're working and you got whatever situation going on and you can't pick up and go, a nomad is not for you. If you wanna support the row, we got the new bandanas out right now. They're on www.demonsroad.com. We also got the Ghost of Ellie mask. You can get that on the site. I got another video where I talk about things you should never do. Going to an outlaw motorcycle club party. It'll be linked above. And thank you for tuning in to Sosa the Ghost TV, which is sponsored by Demons Row, the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby.